Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today I am very stoked. Really been looking forward to this one, definitely an era, a costume that takes me back to the good old days, the 90s of DC Comics with the original Flying Grayson, Dick Grayson, Nightwing, and he's sporting one heck of a costume, right? <laughs> He ain't hiding in the shadows very much. Now, as it's built on the side, Batman Nightfall, and you get nice imagery of Nightwing on the backside. Here's the barcode. Lo and behold, walked into my Target store over the weekend, and he was just sitting on the shelf. So I was absolutely stoked. Now, a new segment I'm going to try out. We're going to talk about Nightwing when it was revealed by McFarlane Toys, which happened around December 4th, 2023. And there were a lot of comments, of course, on Instagram, and we're going to take a look at some of the thoughts before we actually take a look at the figure. Now, OK Figures said, this feels phoned in. It's cool, but I wish they detailed was sculpted. So there you go. You have that one. Hot Bread and Jam says, hell yeah, dude. Batmaniac187 says, not bad for the 90s. And we have Toys.Comics, long hair or I don't care. And I totally agree with you on that one. So we'll check it all out and have a blast doing so. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Nightwing straight from Batman Nightfall from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. So here's Nightwing and all his accessories taken out of the box. He's a little bit light. He does come with several hands. And then, of course, you have the figure and the trading card and all that. But the hands are pretty cool. I like the blue that they've went with. You got the open hand. You have that obligatory trigger finger gun holding hand because, I mean, of all characters to have that. You have a weapon item holding hand, which is always a nice touch. And then... The best one of all, you got the wing ding holding hand, his little version of the batarang, right? Which, yeah, that's pretty much the wing ding, right? Now, it is in his hand. It's not going anywhere, and I do prefer that. Thank you, McFarlane Toys, for doing that. Now I don't have to lose a tiny wing ding. Now, Nightwing himself, got to double check. First and foremost, does he have the ponytail? Yes, he does. Well, also that... They officially confirmed that way back when he was revealed. But hey, sometimes you got to double check with McFarlane Toys. Yeah, we all know. Now, I'll admit it would have been totally cool just to get a brand new body type for Nightwing. Yes, over and over. Every single figure would be glorious. It was a brand new mold every single time. But sadly, no, it's not the case. So for the parts on his chest to the arms, you're going to have to line it up. Yes, you will get gappage. You will get all that. Yes, it would have been totally cool to do it a different way. But they didn't go that route, but the fact that they're making 90s DC Comics costumes characters in 2024, I'll definitely take it. I like this Nightwing. I think it's cool. What I don't like is some of the inconsistencies with the paint. That is something, right, that you can actually go, yeah, let's make that a little bit better. The belt to the boots, you get kind of some scuffage, some little dots, deets here and there that shouldn't be there because of the paint. So let's work on the paint. We've all seen this body type before. We all know the articulation by now. Does it meet the requirements for an acrobatic like Nightwing? Yeah, definitely does. I like the more beefed up look for this character. And I think that this really does work for a 90s Nightfall Nightwing, especially with the wing ding. Now, if you have a flight stand, you can get him going in all his 90s acrobatic maneuvers from all those classic covers, which I totally don't mind. And all the extra hands really help bring this character to life. And then just to show you with the more recent Nightwing that was released right before this one, you see the difference in the body types. You see the difference in the costumes. If I had to pick, I do like the all blue and black, but this one is 90s to me and that is totally cool. Now, Nightfall. What a classic storyline. That's where if you've collected all these characters from McFarlane Toys so far, they all have their inconsistencies and probs. We all know. We don't need to get into it. Beat a dead horse. But it still looks pretty good as they're all standing there on your shelf. And the same way with Batman and Catwoman. With this Nightwing, they just make for a nice display. And to say over and over, this is wrong, this is wrong, we got to find some fun in something here. So in all seriousness, yes, we all know the probs, but there's some great things happening here 
as well. So that'll wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarland Toys DC Multiverse, the 90s Nightfall Nightwing. Say that all in one go. I'm having a blast getting all these 90s characters and really having some fun on my shelf. This is where I like to live. This is what stands out to me. And I think that, again, in 2024, the fact that we're getting characters of this storyline, even though it's becoming the anniversaries of the 90s and whatnot, it's awesome. So I'm having fun with these more 90s characters. Please, let's get a proper cyborg Superman one of these days. That would be great to finish off the reign of the Superman. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Nightfall. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned on my Instagram. We'll get out a few more 90s characters and have some fun. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.